Hi everyone, it's Kai from Cool Collectibles. I'm finally getting around to reshooting my MA01 Miracle Production Vehicle Voltron review. Um, I had a bit of an issue that I'll get to in a second, uh, but I'll give you a quick rundown of um, the box and so on first. So here's the box, which is pretty nice. It's got some nice artwork on it. Gives you a rundown of all the separate teams and so on. And open it and it comes in uh, every piece is separate in its own little plastic bag in foam with that inset there which is pretty nice and once you take everything out uh, this is pretty much all the contents so accessory wise he gets the silver gold and a blue extra sword which I think um, wasn't in the standard release but um, was an extra that some retailers got for some reason um, along so there's a medium sized staff and a long one and then uh, I think that's some sort of electro whip I can't actually remember that from the cartoon a couple of these short weapons and these discs and he gets a whole set of hands as well for, I think, holding the, the swords, holding the different weapons here and an open sort of palm look, which is um, quite nicely sculpted. So that looks pretty good. So he gets a lot of uh, hands there, um, in addition to the standard ones here. So this is the ground team, air team, and the sea team. And I'll go through each one um, separately in detail. Um, but overall, looking like this, they're pretty good. Now, the uh, the issue I had before was when I first got the box, they actually gave me two of the same helicopters. And here's the other one. So I emailed them straight back. And uh, they were pretty good about it. I'll uh, mention who the, the seller is and how I ended up getting this piece um, at the end of the review. Um, but they sent me the replacement part, which was uh, pretty quick, so um, I was happy with that. Um, so yeah, as the separate teams and the separate pieces, there's a lot of die cast, um, so the pieces are pretty heavy. The paintwork overall isn't too bad. Um, there are a few minor um, sloppy areas and so on that I'll go through. Um, but overall, um, on first impressions, it's uh, a pretty awesome set, so um, I'll get into each one and um, form each of the individual teams and then I'll form the uh, the final Voltron robot. Um, so I'll just hang on in a bit and I'll be back in a sec. Thanks, bye. Alright, back again with the ground or land team. Um, so I'll just go through each one and just put this down. Alright, so you get the yellow car. So you see all of this is die cast and the paintwork. So this is clear red plastic which is pretty nice. Um, the wheels aren't rubber, but uh, they're not too bad. But overall, this one here, the paintwork is pretty good. And you get the black counterpart, which is slightly different in design, but the paintwork is a nice metallic black, which is pretty good. And they all roll fairly freely, so um, another pretty cool design there. You get this weird little unit which I can't really remember from the cartoon um, but this bit opens and this all folds out that I'll show you in a bit so it comes with these fake uh, treads uh, with the wheels that don't really roll very well at all so um, that's not too good but overall um, the paintwork on this one's pretty good too no real slop on that one and these are the two hands, or what will eventually be the two hands. Um, so this one's a nice red paint, which is pretty good. Um, and similar wheels. Um, so this one's pretty good. And this one here also is pretty good too. Not a lot of slop. There's probably a bit of uh, paint bubbling there, but not too bad. So yeah, overall, these ones aren't too bad. So in order to put them together what you first do is uh, 
for this piece here you need to press this button at the back and just flick that around so you get that hinge there and you do the same thing on this guy press that button push down and turn around so that was pretty easy now this one's the uh, slightly harder one but what you do is you pretty much fold everything out um, and you just fold it out gently so all of these bits they all feel a little bit frail so you just need to be careful where you push your hands so these two are bits these two bits here are pretty solid so you sort of just hold your hands there and what you want to do is you want to ratchet these joints out um, so if I just grab that and as you can see they're pretty tight but that's okay and you just ratchet that one out so they're nice and straight fold that up fold it and that should all sort of just clip into place if it's done properly and there you have it so then what you do is uh, oh, I will do the hard bit first now getting these guys on is the hard bit on here and this blue one I think is a little easier so you see there's a little button here that you press and you push onto this thing and the pressure you need to, to exert to put these on is um, bordering on breaking something but um, this one seems to go on a bit easier so I'm pressing and I just push on as you can see I'm pushing pretty hard as it is and it's still not going in it'll click into place once it happens and I thought I was going to be able to do this on camera <laughs> as you can see it's a bit of a bitch to do so let me I actually had a practice run and it worked okay oh. as you can see it's an absolute bitch and I'm not gonna force it <laughs> so what you do is you click this in this worked a lot better off camera You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> this is too hard to do on camera. I'll give each one a go, um, but I'll try and do it off camera and uh, get back to you guys. Hold on. All right, after a bit of swearing, <laughs> I managed, and a lot of pushing, I managed to clip everything together. So you'll see that they're pretty much flush in at that point. And these guys with their clips are clipped in inside there. So you can pretty much hold it like that and it will all stay together. So that's pretty much the ground team combined. <clears throat> Which overall looks okay. Um, but probably isn't uh, worth all the effort to uh, try and clip it in all together. So um, that's pretty much it for land team. I'll... Uh, uh, start up next with uh, the C team. I'll be back in a bit. All right, so here we have the C team, um, and I'll give you guys a look through each one, and hopefully the uh, merging of these uh, five is easier than the uh, land team. So just hold on a sec. So here's one module. Um, so there are two heavy-duty modules like this um, with nice rubber treads on there that do move pretty freely except this one so that one's not too bad um, and overall the paint job on this one is also pretty good so I was happy with um, this particular piece this is all heavy duty die cast so this is probably one of the heaviest pieces and the corresponding yellow piece is pretty much identical with nice rolling wheels there um, and these pretty much form the lower leg I think of Voltron in robot mode so that's pretty cool. Um, here's the center module, um, which I never remember which way that's supposed to go, but uh, this is all die cast in the middle here as well. Um, and the paint app on that's pretty good. And these two guys, so you get the red one, uh, which is a bit flimsy. There's a bit of die cast here and so on. Um, and the treads on here are 
are not real, but they the wheels roll fairly freely. And similarly with the yellow one. All right, so I'll start the transformation. So what you do with this guy is you somehow flip that up, and there's a heavy ratchet joint here, and you just fold that back. You'll see that there's a button here that we'll be using in a second. You do the same with this one. So that's like that. And what you do is with this one is you open it up and you push that little joint out and you hold the button and at the same time push in. And that should click in tightly and you fold that back up so that forms that side of it and you do the same thing here just fold that out push that joint out and stick that in there click that back and there you go so you get effectively the two halves of the team you do here is I think you then just push that in and do the same on this side fucking Christ every time you do something it bloody feels like you're gonna break something or sounds like it's gonna break <laughs> but that is C team combined so overall um, this one looks pretty cool um, and it's probably a bit sturdier than um, the land team so yeah there you have it uh, so that's C team uh, on to air team next be back in a bit so back again with the air team um, and individually they all look pretty cool so I'll just give you a quick look at each one now so here's one of the helicopters. The uh, I got two of these originally, um, but they sent through the replacement, and all of this section here is diecast. You can sort of flick up that rear rotor and have it sit there like that, I guess, but uh, not much point. And that's on like a ratchet joint there, because this will form uh, one of his shoulders and arms. Um, and here's the other helicopter. Uh, which has a bit of a paint scratch there, but uh, not much I can do about that now. Um, and all of that is again is die cast with the ratchet joint. So that's the helicopters. Um, this chest piece or the main flying piece is pretty nicely done and painted, so no problems there. Um, and that sticks on with a, a magnet. And here's one of the command modules which ends up being his face if you open that up and it's got a magnet there that clips into and here's the main module um, and all of this section here is heavy die cast um, these treads don't actually work I don't think no um, and these bits fold in and out and uh, you'll see with the use of that in a bit so to actually turn him into, turn, combine the team, you just uh, fold these back up I think um, and ratchet these joints out and if you ratchet these joints out um, it shows you these little buttons that you can use so on here I think you uh, let me see how that's going to go Push that in. Oh, wrong way. So, one sec. so I think you. No, I'm getting this the wrong way around. Sorry, guys. Um, have I got this the wrong way around? Yes, I do. Sorry. I've got that the wrong way around. So you push that and you push that down and you get in that way and on the same here 
push that button down, push that in, fold that down, um, and the rest of it is pretty easy. Oh, I actually forgot you sort of pull that down or push this button and turn that around. And the command module tabs in at the front there and sticks on with the magnet. You can see there. And this piece here uh, clips on in that slot right here. And there you have the combined air team. Uh, which isn't too bad. Um, looks pretty good. Um, I prefer probably the C module maybe. This one probably feels the the sturdiest with all the, the use of the magnets and so on. Um, but that's pretty much it. So um, I'll uh, stop for a bit and uh, get into forming the final big robot. Be back in a bit. Alright, back again for probably the most frustrating part which is forming the final robot, but I'll give it a go on camera. <laughs> so, what happens is, uh, just let me get the orientation right here. I think yellow is on that side. So if I just grab this one. Now, if you can remember this piece, um, it comes with uh, this end, which and this slot here, so that just slots and slides straight in there. So if you just push it in as far as you can without breaking anything. And that forms his right foot, I believe. And then you have this one, which then you do the same thing. And you slide that into that slot there. And push that as far back in. Just check that that's all the way back in. All right. So there you pretty much have both his legs. Right. Now what then happens is these bits connect in with those sockets straight in there. So I think a yellow for yellow. So let's see if I can... Uh, so what I'll need to do is just open that up. Hold that so I can put that in nicely. To press that button. And there you go. Just leave that open for now. Uh, do the same thing for that side. Just uh, hold that down. If I can. And hold that button. And push that down. And that's a pretty nice tight fit there. Right, so you have his legs there. Um, I'm just going to see if I can go back as far as I can here. So what happens next is you try to you try to peg these two things into the top of those. So what you do is you take that and you fold it down. So let me see if I can just do this on the camera here. So I'll just, uh, so what you do is you fold that round like so and click it in and fold it in there. Uh, oh, I think I'm going to need to utilize that button there in a second, so I'll just uh, leave it open. So the same thing here, open it up and fold it back through and click it in. And what you do is you, which way does that go? Right, so red, red. So you hold the button there, here, and slide that in like so. So I'll, now the last time I tried this, it was pretty tight and it's tight again. Oh, fuck. So it's extraordinarily hard. I think I'm gonna have to do this off camera and get back to you guys after I click it in. All right, so I managed to push those in. What I found was it was easier to actually take these off from here and push them into that first and then push that button and push the whole lot in. So that was a bit easier than having that connected to this and then trying to push that on because that joint there and that joint there is very tight. 
um, but once you get it in you can um, there's ratchet joints here and here and you can splay his legs a little bit and then you can utilize the joint there to give him that ankle rock um, so effectively that is his feet all right so um, I'll be back in a bit and just show you guys how to connect the rest up um, I'll have to raise this camera somehow all right be back in a bit all right so what we do now is we need to connect this piece to here so there's a little tab here that um, I'll need to somehow get out there we go and fold that out like that and then just push that down like so um, and that's that piece there and then the next piece that goes on is this one so I believe what you do here is there's a little trapdoor thing, so you flick that out and slide that in there. And that will go on to here. Just like so. So that effectively becomes his abdomen and his chest. Alright, so what happens next is... Now I'll just connect the arms to these guys first. So let's just push that back. So you can push the button on this one and just um, put it in like that, I believe. So I think that's as far as it's gonna go. Do the same with the other arm. So the other arm. Oh, I actually did it on the wrong side. I knew that was going to happen. So hold on. So the this arm here goes with the red. So I'll just click that on and make sure it's flush, like so. So you make sure that that joint there is flush. And do the same for this guy. Just make sure you press that button. as mine's going to go on that one. Should go a bit further than that. Hold on, I'm back in a bit. Alright, so I was, with a bit more force, I was able to push that button a bit further and get that flush. So you pretty much have his two arms like that, which will connect in like that. And as before, to get the arms in easier, you just uh, ratchet these out. use of the button that you see there and there so let me just um, push that on like so ratchet that around push that button that and there's joints there that you can see that allow it to sort of splay out a little bit and then what happens is you oh that's probably last the head goes on like so and you open those up and reveal the head and then this piece with the magnet there just clips on like so and after all that there you have it vehicle Voltron so once he's all formed up he looks pretty good so let me just show you his arms and move forward there's a joint there as before there's uh, the joints here like so uh, ooh. Be careful with and just bend his legs back a little bit. As you see, he's 
seems to be a bit top heavy. If I could. Um, no. Mine feels like it's about to fall over, so uh, I'll probably put those arms back down. And what I'll do is I'll try and pose him up and uh, give you guys a better look at his articulation. Get back in a bit. Right, I managed to put him in a pose that's pretty stable with his legs splayed. So um, I'll just give you a look so you can look with what I can with one hand. So you can turn his head, um, his arms, ratchet up and down, his, his forearms ratchet up and down in these twists as well. So that's not too bad. Now the most important thing for this figure to stand up is these heavy duty ratchet joints here. Um, with the legs straight, um, you're pretty much not going to get him to stand, um, particularly with the wheels. And I think there is a, a plate thing that you can lower to make it a bit more stable, which I'll probably do. Um, but yeah, you really need to have these knees at least bent uh, to one section or one joint um, just to keep him up. Um, similarly with the back one, that's probably one and that's two clicks, I think. And his legs are a bit forward. So overall, looking like that, he's not too bad. So I'm just, and it's good that they made these um, come out so his legs can splay a little bit. And from the back, now one thing I didn't show you guys was um, there is this piece here that you slide up to cover this hole. And for some reason, this one on mine is pretty tight, so I haven't forced it just yet. Uh, but you just flick that up to, to cover that gap, which um, I guess is a pretty nice touch. Um, and I think that's pretty much all he will look like from the back. Um, so back to the front again. I'm just a little weary of trying to move this thing. Everything's so heavy with all the die cars, I don't, I don't know how long these joints are going to last, to be quite honest. Um, hopefully uh, they hold up. Um, so with these particular hands, um, not sure if those hands can actually grip anything. So you probably have to swap those hands out for um, this one with the hole. Um, which will then allow him to hold this sword. Alright, so I'll probably do that off camera. Um, and I think his other hands allow him to hold these spinning discs as well, which I do remember from the cartoon. I think uh, there were some scenes with him running and these things spinning in his fists. So that's all pretty cool. Um, so I'll decide uh, which one of these accessories I'll uh, end up using. Um, I'll actually probably end up using one of these out uh, open palm hands and have the sword in the other. So um, I'll just uh, try and do that up and uh, give you guys a quick look. Um, so I'll be back in a bit. Hold on. So back again. Here you have him with his sword in hand and the outstretched palm. So I'll try and make it a bit more dynamic, but that's probably the best I can do right now without him toppling over. But overall, um, he looks pretty cool. And I got this for um, just over $200, I think, 220 odd, um, from Toy City International. And they deal directly with Miracle. So um, I was contacted by um, a Miracle Productions uh, contact um, to see if I was interested um, and this was a few months ago and I said I wasn't but then um, apparently there was a price drop and they contacted me again so um, I really did want um, or both versions of Voltron in my collection so um, uh, this one's probably the the best out there at the moment so um, I picked it up so I guess in summary overall I think um, once it's all put together and you're past all the frustration, it actually looks really, really nice on display. Um, the the die cast and the, the paint app overall is pretty pretty nice. Um, but the frustrating thing is is all the connections and um, 
how tight everything is and the, the sort of pressure you need to put on everything to, to get it all to fit properly. Um, and I think they could have done that, probably designed it a little bit better to make it less frustrating and less fiddly. Um, you know, these heavy duty ratchet, ratchets here are, uh, are beautifully done. Um, but just, you know, connecting that to this hip area was an absolute pain in the ass. Um, you know, the use of these buttons here to connect that is really easy, so I'm not quite sure why they couldn't do that sort of everywhere. Um, you know, connecting these bits here the, to the elbow was painful. Um, and I guess some of the tricks about, you know, pressing the button inside here, none of that's in the instructions or anything like that. I was given the tip from the Miracle production person themselves to say just watch out for, try and look for all the buttons that we can press. And um, I guess my suggestion to them was to you know, add that sort of detail to the instruction book to, I don't know, make the, the experience a, l a lot more enjoyable. Um, these joints here, um, you know, they're tight because, you know, they're, they need to hold up this big guy. Um, but moving this tends to unclip this guy. And so um, that adds another level of frustration. Um, and I don't know, overall, um, once you have it set up and you're just looking at it like this, um, it's really, really nice. So um, if you're a Voltron fan, I would definitely recommend it. Um, it's probably going for around, yeah, just over $200 um, US these days. Um, and I guess for the, the die cast and for the overall aesthetics of it and the articulation, I'd probably say it's worth it. Um, I'm hanging out for the Toynami, uh, their upcoming diecast version of the Line Voltron, um, which I'm hoping you know goes with this really well. I'm not sure what uh, Miracle have done uh, for their next uh, figure. I asked if this was because of the sort of bad press this got, whether or not that sort of um, killed their company. Pretty much, um, they didn't handle the release very well. Um, this apparently is the second version of the release to fix some of the quality control issues. Um, or, I mean, I still had a major one where this one wasn't even in, included in the box. Um, but overall, the, the communication with the Miracle Contact and Toy International was uh, really good. So um, Toy do a lot of Transformers um, at pretty good prices that um, compete pretty well with Robot Kingdom. So um, check them out if you can, if um, you're trying to find Transformers and so on. So yeah, overall I'd probably, out of 10, I'd probably give this um, an 8. So a couple of uh, points off for the, the frustration and, and so on. But once he's all put together and the accessories that you get, um, he's got different uh, display options and so on, um, it's pretty good. So I hope you like that, uh, probably a longer look than I thought it was going to be and sorry about all the the uh, the breaks in between to, to try and get this guy fitted together um, but hopefully you guys like that quick look and um, uh, keep up to date with everything else on Cool Collectibles so I'll talk to you guys soon, thanks, bye